What are your thoughts on the blue state subsidizing red states talking point? I think it's extremely flawed and comes from a vast amount of context that is purposefully left out. I mean, yes, but there's an element of truth to it. It's, it's true that if you look at, for the federal government, the amount of money the federal government gets from citizens of certain states and the amount of money given to citizens in certain states, some states have a negative balance. Citizens in those states have a negative balance, right? So California citizens pay more in federal taxes than California gets in federal benefits. Uh, Mississippi, it's the other way around. And it, this, is, it, this is generally true, and it's one of the things that people who identify as rabid Republicans and red states are great have to deal with is that generally uh, blue states have more production, blue states have more wealth creation, blue states have generate more income and therefore generate more taxes than red states. You know, I don't know if that'll last. I don't know if that'll be forever. But there's something about blue. There's something about being a Democrat. Not a far leftist, but a center left. That where there are high concentrations of center left people, there's high productivity, there's high education, there's high entrepreneurship, there's high creativity. Look at Silicon Valley, look at Wall Street, look at Austin, Texas, look at most university towns, but look at, most, look at Boston where you have a thriving biotech area and, and a lot of wealth, and yet the left of center. So you can't just dismiss the left on those, you know, just, you have to have an argument. And you have to have an argument that takes into account why they, uh, where there are concentrations of them, they are productive. And it has to be, at the end of the day, you have to dissect the issues. And the, the problem with the right is that they abandon reason. And the problem with the left is they abandon reason in more areas of life than the left. And productive people who admire reason, who are productive, who, who, who like technology, who like science, who, who, who reject religion, reject much of what Republicans stand for. And if red states want to become wealthier, they have to attract the scientists, the thinkers, the entrepreneurs, the engineers, and that means they have to attract people who respect reason, and therefore they have to project a respect for reason rather than project religion. Anti-evolution. So, you know, there's a reason why Silicon Valley is not Republican. And I've said this over and over and over again over many years. I've said it to the Ted Cruz campaign in 2016. I said, a Silicon Valley engineer is not going to vote for a candidate who thinks, who doesn't think evolution is true. She's just not going to vote for a candidate. If you, if you stand up on stage and tell him evolution is a conspiracy, then he's not going to vote for you. And that's a big part of the problem we have. Uh, what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, 
please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to hundred. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this, uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.